of them are chocolate. Yeah. Like, is it, you can, uh, so For more than six centuries, the Christmas market has been a German tradition. It's known as Chris Kindle Market. Marks has been around at least until the 1500s in Germany. All the little towns in Germany have these Christmas marks selling everything from Glühwein, which is mulled wine, and uh, all these like cakes like this and gingerbread things and oh, it's, it's fantastic. It's a sight to behold. $10, please. And the market is becoming popular elsewhere. For almost 30 years, Winnipeg has hosted which is now the most popular Chris Kindle market in Canada. And here, this is new. This is new. The, this uh, Chris Kilmark was never done here. And they come and buy it now because it's new for them. There's a lot of Germans here that bring different things that they don't have, that the Canadians don't bring and that don't have. And the Canadians love it. Handicrafts and foods are the two big attractions at the market every year. Brock Blosser has been a mainstay at the market for a long time. He's been carving wood for 42 years and his items are always some of the most popular. And everybody always wants to know what's happening and you know how do you do that, what kind of wood you use and that sort of thing. So it's fun and uh, yeah so it's, uh, it's a lot of fun and, uh, and it doesn't get tiring to tell people about it. Now Chris Kindle Market is not the only German tradition that's become popular elsewhere. Ever wonder who had the idea to put decorations on a tree? Well that happened for the very first time back in Germany in the 15th century. Chris Kindle Market also features musical performances and customers looking for a gift are always left satisfied. They have such good food and uh, all the different kinds of crafts that you know that are that you can use like to clean things or buy to decorate and um, so far everyone I've done I would not do it yet. It's a one-stop shopping thing for one thing, you know, you can do all your Christmas shopping in one spot for various people. Plus it's a way of meeting your neighbors and just partaking of the Christmas spirit. Celebrating Christmas with a German twist. Okay. Frohe Weihnachten. Frohe Weihnachten. For Go Winnipeg, I'm Kevin Hirschfield.